Day three. Good morning. Good morning, day three. Day three. Island hopping. Uh, probably two islands we're gonna do today, as I understood yesterday. And let's see the weather. It's fantastic. Yeah. One of them, the first one, is Starfish Island. But I think it's a bit bigger than the one in Port Barton. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. Up. Oh, look at the good boys having fun. Where's Tangol? Oh, that's why all the other ones are here because Tangol is not. Yeah. And this is the chill zone. Yeah, definitely uh, during the day the sea is much more blue compared to the evening time when uh, there are waves. It was rough, so, I mean, it was rougher yesterday. Yeah. In the yeah, so we actually we found out why we cannot go there. It's a private resort being built. Yeah, and it's off limits. So this is the beach this way. Oh, the sun is burning already. Yeah. And here's the three musketeers. <laughs> and there are the kids. May I put the apple? Yes? Okay. I'm sorted. Very sunny today. Let's go to show. Ned, yeah. Let's take this off. <laughs> <laughs> because yesterday, no good. <laughs> If you ever have the chance to swim in a sea where there are starfish, we beg you, don't take them out of the water. There's a common misconception that starfish can survive a few minutes out of the water. The truth is, most of them can only hold their breath for less than 30 seconds and being out of their natural habitat causes them unnecessary stress. Starfish breathe through the tube feet and also through all the pimples you can see around their body. Not to mention that getting in touch with our skin can damage them. Our skin is oily, it has bacteria that the starfish was never exposed to. For a few hundred likes on Instagram or TikTok, please don't make another sentient being suffer. This is their place. Yeah. So we came just to visit. Disturb. Don't step on them, be careful. Yeah, don't touch them, don't move them, don't lift them, leave them alone, watch them, admire them. Hi! Welcome to, I don't know what's the name of the island, we need to ask uh, where we live. What's the name of this island? 
Kandaraman. 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 He said here we're gonna stay like 30 minutes. Be careful of the sunlight. Kandamaran Island, starfish for us. Yeah, we're taking a short walk. There's actually a car uh, path. road path. Yeah. 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 Car dirt road here. So it's a pretty big island. We say it's like over 3.6 hectares. 36 hectares. 36 hectares. Over 36 hectares, yeah. And on the other side, it's off limits, so we cannot go and explore. There's development of uh, probably resorts or whatever. Yeah. Another uh, politician. Probably. Yeah, I think if we come back here in 10 years, everything is going to look so much different. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's already developing right now. It's still a lot of islands are virgin here. Probably the way the islands around Arnido were 15 years ago. Yeah. yeah and it's very much the same process happening. Yeah. Nothing too. <laughs> Nothing too much happening here at the moment. Yeah. Just cocoa trees <laughs> and the sound of sea. Yeah, I think slowly. Jellyfish, caught you again. Yeah. How do they always find you? So yeah, what I was saying is I can see why they're making a development here and build resort because over there there's the two starfish sandbars. There is quite a few things to do and they can do island hopping from here. So it's a good central position. The big island over there is Malabat proper. I think this one in front is also part of Balabak and even the one where we sleep. Yeah, actually, Lina Pakan is a lot, lot better. I mean, so far, Lina Pakan is much better for snorkeling. Yeah. Maybe we were not taken to the to the good spot here. In, yeah. There is a good reef here. I forgot the name. Yeah, in Lina Pakan we've seen amazing, amazing sea life with here. So, and so except for the giant clams and the many many turtles yesterday. That's again the dead fish. But what kind of fish is this? I don't know. Uh, it's this one that is getting, you know, he got air or something. I don't know why. Well, I think it's the poisonous one. Yeah, because it has the spike, so I think he can easily hurt you. He still didn't take that photo of me with the wing. Stamagrama Bella. Yeah. This is our ride. No good? 
Very young. Yeah, second island, third stop. And lunch time, yeah. Vegetables. Pancit and vegetables. We were so hungry at this point that we couldn't show you in detail our lunch anymore. Suddenly I'm seeing everything so different Like I'm looking at the world through a brand new lens Every shade of green and blue And it's all because of you I'm seeing everything You make me want to celebrate that I've painted in my wildest dreams came to life in every feeling that you gave to me found a story that we saw every moment is a song Other island, or where are we go? Depend on the island. The other side, I'm going to the. I'm going to find out something else. After the second island we were meant to visit a sandbar, but unfortunately it was high tide so the water was too high. So next we moved on to a snorkeling spot, but as mentioned previously guys, snorkeling in Balabac is not as beautiful as in Dinapacan or around Del Nido, but it still was a good experience. Sadly, we have seen a lot of broken coral. We're not sure yet what caused this, but there's a chance spear fishing is part of the cause. Uh, 
try to get. After a full day in the sun, we slowly headed back to our base camp where our fried banana snack was already waiting for us. Yep, that is Tangol. He's totally crazy and you'll soon see why. Chicharron is live. What are you doing? Hmm? What are you doing? Hmm? What do you have there? Chicharron. I've never been done 